Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install EasyFN. First, let's go ahead and open Safari. Now we're going to head to a site called EasyFN.dev. All right, now that we're on the site, let's look for the OG Fortnite download button. All right, let's go ahead and press it. Now that we're on the download page, we're going to click the Download EasyFN button to get the launcher. Once you've clicked the download button, you'll get a pop-up from iOS saying, this website is trying to download a profile. Don't worry, this is exactly what we want. Now that the profile is downloaded, we need to go into settings to install it. So let's head over to the settings app. Once you're in settings, you should see a new option at the top that says profile downloaded. This is the profile we just got from the EZFN site. Go ahead and tap on profile downloaded to open it up. Here, you'll see the details of the profile. To continue, just hit install in the top right corner iOS will ask you for your passcode to confirm the installation, so go ahead and enter that now. After entering your passcode, iOS will ask you one more time if you really want to install this profile. Now that the profile is installed, let's exit the Settings app and head back to the home screen. And there it is. You should now see a brand new app called EZFN on your home screen. This app is what we'll be using to get OG Fortnite set up. Just tap the download button to get the EZFN Fortnite app. Since the app can sometimes get revoked, it's a good idea to subscribe to push notifications. This way, you'll be notified the next time there's a new download available. As you can see, there are several downloads listed here. If one doesn't work, don't worry. There are more to try. All right, once we hit the download button, we will get an iOS pop-up asking if we want to install two apps. It will download both, Season 4 and Season 7. If you don't like one, you can just remove it later on. As you can see, we just got an error message saying, unable to install EZFN. This means the download we just tried doesn't work for us, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and remove the apps we just tried to install. All right, let's jump back into the EZFN app and try the next download. Just like before, we'll hit install to install the apps. Now we wait for the installation to complete Let's keep our fingers crossed that this one works. Awesome. We can see Fortnite is installed correctly. The app is recognized. Now we just need to give it permission to run. Now let's head over to the settings. Now we can trust this enterprise app. Just tap on the app and then press trust to allow it to run on your device. Now that we've trusted the enterprise developer, the apps we previously downloaded should work just fine. Let's try to open them to make sure everything works. Depending on your network speed, downloading all the Fortnite content can take a little while, but don't worry, this is totally normal. Since I want to keep this video from getting too long, I've sped up the download process so you don't have to wait around. Always make sure to click the button that says no, create a new account. You'll also be able to log in with that option. Be sure to enter your real email address. Otherwise, EZFN won't be able to help you reset your password if you ever lose it. Make sure to choose your username wisely, as you won't be able to change it at this time. Be sure to choose a secure password and write it down so you don't forget it. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to join our Discord server or drop a comment on this video. We'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and follow us for more content.